Welcome back to Stripid Coder and we are back with our video. In this video, we will integrate PayPal in our Flutter application with the help of our newly launched Flutter package. So this is our application you can see here and here we have PayPal checkout and when we click on the checkout, it will launch that PayPal site as I am already logged into the site. So it is not asking me for the username password and here you can see we are getting all the information. If we click here, you can see here we are getting all the products. Then we have subtotal, total, everything. Then we have a PayPal balance option. Then we have credit card options and here we have pay later option also coming here. If we click on the continue to review order as this is the sandbox account. So that's why we are clicking here to continue review order. So here if you see in the log you can see here we are getting on success and in the on success we are getting all the parameters from the paypal that is that uh, payment request has been success and verified from paypal and we are getting all the information which is required the paypal id also we are getting which is generated at the time of the paypal payment and all so before starting a video if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you So this is our newly launched package that is flutter underscore paypal underscore checkout. We have launched this package so that you can easily integrate the paypal payment system in your flutter application without having look anywhere for any complicated code or anything you have to write. Just you have to write only few lines of code and your flutter paypal payment gateway will be ready in just few lines of code. So here we have the best and easy way to integrate paypal checkout in our flutter application. The main feature of this package is like it is very simple and easy, easy to connect flutter with the paypal then we have that plug and play system like we, you have to just copy the lines of code and you have to paste in your application and just have to change the keys and all it will start working also it is having event handlers like on success method on cancel method and on error method then we have the easy to follow guide also here here the installing setups like it is a dependency you have to put in your pub spec for the android you have to go to your app slash build.cradle and over there you have to do small two changes you have to make the minimum as sdk version as a 17 and the compile sdk version as a 33 for the ios you don't have to do any extra step for making it work it is very simple in the ios you have to just copy your flutter code it will start working so here our main code like if you have any button in your application like you have to move user to the payment gateway you have to just call this way like you have to call navigator off and you have to push and there you have to call this activity that is paypal checkout there we have the, some parameters like sandbox mode then we have client id then we have secret key then we have return url then we have cancel url then we have our transactions you have to make sure you are sending that transaction in the proper way then only it will work in the transaction we have the amount inside the amount we have to pass total that is as an example we have put here 70 then you have to put the currency over here and we are using a usd you can use the currency as per your settings then we have the detail section over there you have subtotal then you have the shipping then you have your shipping discount also here we have the description you can put any description to your transaction over there then we have our line items and these item lists are basically our products which we are going to sell in our checkout on the basis of that we are getting the payment from the paypal inside that we are making an array for the items and there we have object for product that is name quantity price then we have the currency here then this is a shipping address that is optional if you want to put you can put if you don't want to put you can ignore it also and in the inside the shipping address we have the object of receipt name then we have the line one line two then you have city country code then we have postal code then your phone state then you have the option for note also if you have to give any note in the transaction that also you can pass over there then you have the event for on success then we have on error then you have the on cancel here these are the events like in the on success like if your payment is successfully generated you can on the basis of that you can track here in the on success event then you can land user to your success page or also you can if you want to do any transaction or communication with the backend also that also you can do on the on success method then we have the on error if you want to give any pop up to the user for the failed payment is there any issue in the payment that also you can show on error events 
then you have your own cancel event also in between if user cancel the payment that also we are handling over here then we have our constructors parameter so let's understand what these parameters are all about first one is our sandbox mode it is basically like if you are doing that testing you have to pass it as a true by default it will be false if you pass as a true then it will be treat your payment gateway as a sandbox and accordingly you have to put a client id and secret key also on the basis of your sandbox setting and all and this is optional you can also ignore it by putting here like we have added here if you don't want to put you can ignore it because by default it is false then we have a client id and this is the payback client id you have to pass in this is not optional this is mandatory and then we have the secret key also that also you have to pass for that paypal secret key and that is also mandatory then we have the return url and this is the url like if you have to put any url like uh, if you did any payment and you have created one payment success page in your web application that you can put here when the payment is successful that uh, paypal will land user to that page and it will be show over there after some time user will be land back to our flutter application on the basis of this return url then we have the cancel url also and in case any payment failed user will be land to that cancel page on the basis of this cancel url we will handle our on cancel event also then we have our transactions and the type of this will be list of dynamics and you can see here these are the transactions you have to pass here and without it it will not work you have to make sure you are putting the all everything will be properly with that variable names and object and array everything you can follow this guide and here we i have mentioned everything then we have the node that will be of string type and that is also optional that will be payment note if we have to put any then we have this on success event then we have our on error event then we have our on cancel event so that's all about this flutter paypal checkout so let's indicate it in our flutter application let's see how is it working so here in our package we have also the example also and there i have already mentioned the whole application working application example over there you can also just copy this code also and you can just paste in your application before doing that you have to just copy this plugin name then you have to go your flutter application here you have to add that plugin and you have to click save here so the plugin has been downloaded and you will also notice here in this plugin we are using three dependencies first one is a flutter that is by default then we have our flutter underscore in-app web browser that will be used for opening that for paypal site and all then we have our http for creating the token and everything that is handled by this plugin you don't need to worry about those things so now we will just copy this code so that can just run the application c we will copy this and we will paste here so here you have to do some of the modifications before using this plugin first one you have to put here the client id then you have to put the client secret key here then you have to put your return url we're just putting as a dummy here in the cancel also you have to put here then you are over amount then you have over description then this is also optional that is payment options that also you can use if you want we will remove this one then have your item underscore list and here you can put all the product items we are putting here two dummy items that is apple then we have a pineapple then we have our shipping details that is also optional we are not using here we will remove this one then we have our on success event then we have our on error event then we have our on cancel event we are just printing everything over here we will just run the application and we will see from here we will run our application so here is our application so now we will click on the checkout so here you can see the paypal site is loaded so it is asking for the username and password we will put the password here and this is our sandbox account we will paste here and now we will click on the login here you can see here we are getting all the information here in that ship to you are getting here some information but that is dummy on the basis of that our sandbox account then here you can see our total amount coming here so now if i click on that total amount you will see all the transaction of our cart coming here we have our four apple then we have our pineapple and we have subtotal total everything is coming here and this is a note which is coming so now let's click on the cancel and let's see if this event is getting fired or not now if i click on the cancel you can see here this cancel event has been fired here so now again we will click on that checkout here we click on the continue to review order and it will 
do the order here and we will get here on success event I click here so now you can see here this is a response which is coming from the paypal and this is coming on the on success because the payment is successfully verified our paypal account you can see here status as a verified here on all the information is coming here in this transaction detail and on the basis of this detail you can just save in your server also on the basis of your requirement so in this way we can indicate our paypal with just few lines of code and we, we are easy to go with the people integration all in our flutter application so that's all in this video i hope you like the video if you like the video just go to this plugin and you, you have to just click on this like button and you have to increase these likes so that everyone know about this plugin and they will also use this plugin in their application and all so let me know if you want these types of more plugin in the future i will create more plugin for you guys i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video